For those of you who are not doubling up and taking geometry at the same time as Algebra 2, I want to do a quick reminder of analytical or coordinate geometry. Now Mr. Word is really good at making you do algebra in his geometry class. So let's just review a couple things. First, remember that parallel lines have the same slope and different y-intercepts. And that perpendicular lines have slopes that multiply to negative 1, which means they're opposite and reciprocal. And that you have a midpoint formula, given x1, y1, and x2, y2 are the coordinates of your two points, the coordinates of the midpoint are determined by averaging the x's and then averaging the y's to find the center, right? And then, most importantly for us though, we have the distance formula, which is the generalization of the Pythagorean theorem used in a coordinate plane. So point 0.1 is x1, y1, point 0.2 is x2, y2, and the distance between those two points, or p1, p2, is the square root of the difference of the x's squared and the difference of the y squared. Now remember when you apply the distance formula, this is not the same thing as the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus the square root of y2 minus y1 squared. That's evil and wrong, so you have to remember that it's put together. And you can't separate it because there's no addition or subtraction rule for radicals. And the reason why we have to go over the distance formula is because we're about to go into the conics which are the cross-sections of a double cone and a plane, and their definitions are all reliant on the distance formula. And so I have to make sure that you guys remember this formula and can work with it. So next class period, we're going to work with some analytical geometry, and then we're going to start conics.